Hello, let's do a simple interest problem, banking. This was actually a recent homework problem for us. It says, after two years, a savings account earning simple interest held $585.75. The original deposit was $550. What was the interest rate? Let's remember that the formula that we use is I equals PRT. I being the simple interest. P is the principal, which is the amount that you initially borrow or invest. R being the rate, our percentage. And T will be the amount of time that we are borrowing or investing our money. And it's written in years. So, I'm going to write down I equals PRT. And I'm just going to plug in my values. Now, the original deposit right here was 550. So that's going to be my P. So let's plug that in. So my original deposit is 550. All right, that's good. What is my interest rate? Well, that means I'm looking for my R, so I'm going to just leave R as R because I don't know what it is. I'm going to find out. T is time. Well, how long did I leave the money in the bank account? Two years. So that's going to be our time. So here is two years, and that'll be our time. So T will be two years. Put two. And it equals I. I is the simple interest. How much simple interest was there? Well, many people will put $585.75 in for I and that'll be incorrect. Do you know why? Because, so it's no. The reason why is because if I initially put $550 into the bank, so let me draw a little bank. So here's my bank and I put in $550 into the bank. A couple of years go by and now all of a sudden I have $585.75 in there two years later at this rate that we don't know. What was the amount of interest that I was paid by the bank? It was a difference of 585, 75, and 550. So in other words, I started with $550 in the bank. I ended up with $585.75. So I really earned $35.75. That was my interest. So I need to put 3575 over here for the I. So let's move our little bank picture. Kind of push that out of the way. Move over here somewhere. Okay. Now we'll just solve this. All right. So 550 times 2. Well, let's see. That's going to be 1100. And then the R just comes down. And that equals 3575. I want to divide both sides by 1100 to get R by itself. And you get R equals. Now let's do. 3575 divided by 1100 and you get 0 0.0325 which if we turn that into a percent we just move this decimal point over two spaces one two and we have r equals 3.25 three and 25 hundredths three and a quarter percent so let's see what the question was and see if we answered it it said that we put some money in the bank 550 we waited two years and we ended up with $585.75 and they wanted to know what the interest rate was and the answer is that the interest rate the bank paid us was 3.25% 3 and 25 hundredths percent and that's your answer. So the trick here that you had to do is you had to be a little careful. The I, don't just go and take every number you have and throw it into the equation. You need to sometimes do a little bit of work and in this case I needed to take 585.75 and subtract 550, the original amount to find out how much interest I actually was given by the bank. That's it. Thank you. Bye.